Hi, welcome to i2 Cortex Coffee Breaks webinars. I am Andy Young, the sales manager with i2 Cortex. This month, we'll be continuing our series based on industrial treats. This video will cover Workbooks Part 2. For those who don't know, i2 Cortex is a fully integrated estimating solution with universal application supporting everything from hand-drawn sketches to PDFs, 2D and 3D CAD drawings and BIM files. i2 Cortex is available in a variety of feature levels depending on the size of your business or your estimating requirements. i2 Cortex offers quick and easy on-screen takeoff and measurement that can be live linked to our comprehensive workbooks to help you save time and eliminate errors. The platform also offers a professional report writer an auto revisioning tool to help you with a new drawing version and much more. And as you can see, there are a huge variety of file types supported by i2 Cortex to help with compatibility as we want your import export processes to be as smooth as possible. Our latest webinar covered adding a workbook from Dimension Group to import templates and empties, workbook tools, reference report, find and replace, and secondary quantities, and also utilizing function and formula in the workbooks. To view this webinar, go to www.rib-international slash webinars. And for this month, I will cover workbook tools, highlighting, protection, auto drop, generic codes, export workbook to Excel or utilizing custom report and generating workbook from Dimension Groups linked to a RAID library. So now, we'll switch over to i2 Cortex and get started. This is a sample of workbooks that we prepare to just to show you some demonstration of the function. Okay, well, let me just try to go through with you some other workbook features we, which we have not covered in the previous webinars. Just for example, there are some quantity that I would like to refer. Okay, I take an example here, 300 times 400 deep H beam comprising vibrators and 32 reinforced concrete. As for the bar reinforced link, it will refer back to the 130 kilogram per meter cube, which means this information will refer to the information as above and we do have the function similar to excel if i would like to refer to this cell i could just click and insert equal okay then i press ctrl key come to this column c3 and just click it it will define as a c3 and next i could insert the formula multiply 0.13 and press enter so i do it again just like i just click on this particular column i would like to refer this one to the c2 so i can just click over here press equal then remember to press and hold control button before you click this c2 and you can press enter so, the next one which I was going to show you is called Auto Drops. You can see it over here. This toggle button will turn on or turn off automatic drag and drop functionality. I will give you a try using the basement slabs quantity. So, what we have it here. So, I have the 50 tick sandbag include compaction so if i do not click the auto drop what will happen when i try to drag and drop the quantity it will pop up the add quantity properties allow you to change the information over here so you may change other information and you can click update if i try to turn on the auto drops what will happen because this quantity is meter square and what I would like to fill in here is also meter square so I could just drag and drop and here comes it will drop automatically 
So when I try to fill in some information which I need to change the properties, I need to turn off the auto drops and then drag and drop for this. This is for the volume. So I need to select from here. So this is the function to allow you to drag and drop quantity faster when you turn on the auto drop. Next part, I will show you the protection. Okay, before I show you that, let me just show you the information light. What I want to show you, it will be preliminaries. There's a zero percentage. This information, it will refer to the element subtotal. So normally, we'll just create a name cell. Afterwards, we'll just link the information into the particular read, which I, in the previous webinars, we already demonstrate how to do this. And you either you click and drop or you can select to copy and I can press Ctrl D to copy from above as well. So once I completed some information which link to the other column, I would like to protect it. So we have the protect cell button here which allow you to protect selected cell to prevent to prevent ad accidentally editing. What will happen if I protect this cell? then I will not able to type in anything into this and you may notice that the cell is gray out here. So to make it clearer, I am allowed to use the highlight protected cell so that it indicate which cell is protected. But this is just protect cell, which means that it only protect this particular cell. But if I drill down, the information beneath the second hierarchy was not protected. And we can protect the whole hierarchy by just right click over here and we do have this protect hierarchy and unprotect. You will see the difference when I click the protect hierarchy and when I try to drill down to second level, all this information is protected now. So let me just roll it back. So the next one I want to show you, it will be the generate code. What is the meaning here is like they will generate the codes using the codes generated by a report templates or you can define directly from this spreadsheets. We're able to see that the code I have here in the column A and I try to drill down to second level. There's no information, no codes inside here. So rather than I insert them one by one, I could try to use the generate codes allow the software to generate for us. So without select the code setting from a report because what I want to show you now is just use the code setting as below. So we are going to save the codes to the first column from level one, this level to second level. While the group code format, either you can select number, letter, workbook value. The difference is currently I already have the value inside. Hence I will select the workbook values. So the format I would like to present is the groups and then number in groups, which means later I will generate the code form sec for second level will be E01.1 with the separator insert over here. Code excluded I and O. I am not using any letter for my code, hence I do not need to take anything from here. I would like to exclude the rows with the subtotal and then blanks in column. And I also exclude the rows where the description is both. Okay, so now we'll see what is the result for this generate codes by just clicking OK. We can move on to look at it. So I can drill down to second level. So you might notice that this is E01.1, E01.2 and E01.3. And also I can check on the other particular detail as well. So this will be the information inserts by the generate code function here. So at the end of it, after we complete all the workbook tools here, anyone that prepared the cost estimating or the bills of quantity, definitely would, you would like to save it in your file format. So we provide the option here. Either you can export trade to Excel, export workbook to Excel, there's a difference over here. We'll, I will show you the difference by selecting. If I'm going to click the export trades to Excel, 
you are allowed to select from the list so to highlight everything I can just right click and click select all and then I click export so I will just save a copy of elemental cost plan to my desktop and it will generate a copy in Excel and open up the Excel spreadsheet so from here we might notice that this is the summary okay with the final total and just for example the site preparation they will break it down this is the all the total and two thousand six two hundred sixty seven thousand amount is carried to this particular column we can not, we are noticing this uh, equal to some site preparation so this is the copy which we export trade to excel while the other export function is export workbook to excel so let me just export this again just to show you what is the difference so this one will be based on workbook so let me just save this and then this is the other format then you can see it's actually exporting the whole workbook in one page as compared to what we have export trade to Excel earlier it's only export it will export by each of the tabs well lastly definitely we would like you to use this function as much as you can by just use the reports rather than export back to Excel you are actually the best I can say the best option will be you export to your customized templates which will make you make your BQ look better and I just preview to show you and you will you can customize your reports as per what I presented to you you can just print this out alternatively you are allowed to also export back to the PDF save a copy share with your client then everything will be in soft copy so this is all about the workbook tools over here the next feature which I would like to include is called generating workbook from dimension group which link to read libraries most of our user when they talk about taking off from the quantity I use the example from the beam model just we check on the information in the object properties this model we have the user defined information such as QSID rate codes so this is the rate codes which we create the same rate codes in our rate library bp.sp.400 so before I show you in the red library, let me just abstract this information into our dimension group by using the model maps that we create linked to the red codes. So you will see that they will abstract the information based on the QSID and the red codes and display the dimension group name as per red codes. Next, if we like to move on, we check on this bp.sp400. We have all the quantity at display over here. While in the workbook wheels, I do have the red library with the ballpark bp.sp.400. As you can see, it's 150. And now my workbook is blank. What I can do next to create it, I can just select the add button, add workbooks at the bottom we can generate workbook from dimension groups so let me just insert a workbook name here called estimates for sure I will need to select the default rate library so that it can link the information from the dimension groups to the rate library description I would like to use the rate description rather than dimension group name so I will need to have the few codes column. I do not create creasing, uh, missing rates. And then I will live link the quantity link, rate links, and expand the live link and round up the quantities. And you just, you can see the magic like 
when I click OK, they will move on to the substructure similarly to the dimension group name here. And when I open up to drill down to the second level, the codes is as per red item codes. While the description, when I click on it, you may see that it's a get the red description for the bp.sp.400 while the quantity is getting the volume from the dimension group and the rates is get the rate from bp.sp400 but to achieve this definitely you will need to do a lot of a coding setting to link your dimension groups information with your rate library then you may able to use this generate workbook from dimension groups. As the summary, we have covered other workbook tools which was not covered in workbooks part 1 and also we have shown you the export workbook to Excel and generating workbook from dimension groups. So you may view other webinars from www.rib-international.com slash webinars and if you have any inquiry, do email us at the support.int at rib-software.com. Thank you very much.